hard to keep up with the obscure naming conventions of laptops and Asus is certainly guilty of causing confusion with its range of ultrabooks. The ZenBook series has more abstruse conventions than most, covering a multitude of modules that vary in both mild and huge ways beneath their similar shells and identical names, and the UX models are even more bewildering. So the UX305 prefix seems to mean that the Ultrabook has a matte non-touch display, a few minutes ports, less thickness, less weight, and a better battery life than the UX303 range. Though that sounds like a lot of difference, it doesn't look that much in the flesh, or rather the aluminium. Differentiating the UX303s further, some of them come with touch screens. UX303 lock, though this test model, UX303 doesn't. What this model has over the UX305, which TechRadar's Kevin Lee loved in his recent review, is that it comes with a newer Skylake processor and packs a little more room. This machine comes in several configurations, depending on how much you want to save or splash out. You have three choices of processors, ranging from an i3-6100U through to an i5-6200U up to an i7-6500U. Also, you have three choices of screen resolution, ranging from 768p through 1080p to 1800p, 3200 by 1800, and storage options include a 128GB or 256GB SSD, a 500GB or 1TB HDD, or a 500GB hybrid with 8GB SSD cache.